Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 things you should never do on an airplane. Air travel can be stressful. We've all seen people who have no regard for others ruin everybody else's trip. In this video, we're going to be looking at some of the worst things people have done on planes, shocking confessions of how nasty airplanes are by pilots and crew members, and some other things you probably do but shouldn't on airplanes. Before this video starts, click the link in the top right corner to subscribe to Little Things for more amazing content. And subscribe to Top 10 and turn on notifications and comment done when you've done this for a shout out at the end of our next video. Coming in at number 10, we have ordering water. Water is healthy and would likely be welcomed on a hot, dry plane, right? Well, surprisingly, not at all. Ask any flight attendant and they will always tell you to avoid drinking water on board. The reason why is because it is disgusting. Airplane water is often not very hygienic and traces of salmonella and insect eggs have been found in the water before. And 1 in 8 planes actually fail to meet hygiene requirements when it comes to their water. That's 15% of all planes having potentially harmful water thanks to bacteria. The reason why it's so nasty is because the water passes through many different stages before getting onto the plane. And it always ends up in the plane's water storage tank, which is often not cleaned out enough. And if you're thinking, well that's fine, I'll just have a coffee or tea instead, then think again. Airline employees also avoid these because they're made of the same contaminated water. And even though it is hot water, it may not be heated up enough to get rid of all the bacteria. Some airlines even use this water as a substitute for bottled water if they run out. So remember to always buy a bottle of water at the airport before getting on a plane, and it might just save you from being sick on vacation. Next up is barefoot. You wouldn't see someone getting onto a bus or train with bare feet, but for some reason people think it's totally acceptable on airplanes. Sure it's nice to feel at home on an airplane you're going to be stuck on for hours, but it's not always nice for you or others to be barefoot. First off, flight attendants will tell you that airplane floors are much dirtier than they seem. Dirt and food can get embedded in the carpet floor, which is not often thoroughly cleaned. And the bathroom floor is obviously not the cleanest. Some passengers even press the in-flight buttons with their feet. Not to mention some people's feet smell, and you don't want to expose everybody else on the airplane to that. It's not uncommon for passengers to put their feet up or put them in between two seats. Which of course is intrusive, rude and gross. So keep your shoes on for you and everyone else on the plane. It will prevent germs getting into you and ensure that all of the other passengers are in a non-stinky environment. Next up is reclining your seat. We've all been there, you're bummed out about the lack of legroom in your airplane seat. And then the guy in front of you reclines his seat all the way back, reducing it even more. That's right, just because it's there, the recline button should not be used if there's someone sitting behind you. This can be even worse if the person behind you has a drink on their tray, as it could spill if you choose to recline back. Nobody wants to have you pretty much lying on top of them, so don't recline back, it's rude. Instead, ask the person behind you if they mind you reclining, and if they say no, then don't. You may be cramped up on the plane, but so is everybody else. Some passionate flyers have even created petitions to try and ban people from reclining their seats on airplanes. But this is something that many are very divided about. So what do you think about this? Do you think reclining seats should be banned altogether, or is it acceptable if you ask first? Next up is messing with your seatbelt. The importance and effectiveness of airplane seatbelts is often debated, but you shouldn't mess with your seatbelt too much. This is not for safety reasons, however, but for hygiene reasons. The Today Show found that seatbelts are pretty nasty, and in some cases, seatbelts are dirtier than airplane toilets. This is because they're not always cleaned as well as more visible things such as tray tables and the seats. Many people like to fiddle with the flickering mechanism on seatbelts, but really, it's pretty gross. And seatbelts are usually covered in harmful bacteria. The actual seat belt is also very hard to clean as it's made of fabric and can get anything from sticky drinks to baby saliva on it. Often pieces of gum can also be stuck to seat belts too. Now that is something I've actually seen myself. Many airline employees actually suggest taking some sanitizing liquid on board with you and using it after you've fastened your seat belt. And when that no seat belt needed light flashes up, be sure to get that thing off you ASAP. And when you do, don't forget to sanitize again. Next up is drinking. When it comes to airplanes, drinking on them is a popular thing to do. It can be nice to unwind as you ascend into the air, and there's no limits as to how much you can have. But it's important to know if you should drink or not, and if you do, how much you should have. Some people get overly excited about their vacation and go way overboard. It may sound like fun and games, but it can have some pretty bad consequences. If you fall asleep after drinking on a plane, you may wake up hungover, and it will mess with your quality of sleep. There may also be turbulence, which can make it hard for your 
your stomach to process the drink. Some have even vomited or got into heated arguments and were rude to staff thanks to drinking way too much on the plane. So it's always best to wait until you land before you start boozing it up. I'm sure there'll be plenty of bars wherever you're going. Next up we have rude to cabin crew. It's not nice to be rude to anyone, but it's especially bad when they're trying to serve you and do a job. But some people just don't seem to appreciate this. People's bad behaviour have got them kicked off airplanes before, and rightly so, and former flight attendants have admitted it's often worse with people in first and business class. In one case, somebody bought a burger from the outside onto the plane and demanded they heat it up. Flight attendants are not allowed to do this, but it caused a huge argument. Flight attendants are just following the rules set by their company, something you probably also do at work. Some passengers have been so rude to cabin crew they've ended up being banned from some airlines. You can't treat staff badly, regardless of whether you're in regular or business class. And no one working a job should have to deal with rude customers. So be sure to be super nice to any flight attendants, it might just make their day and as a result they will make your flight more pleasant. Do you think rude passengers should be banned from airlines or is that too harsh? Next up is loud music. When out in public, some new social rules apply. But unfortunately, it seems some people don't realize they've left their bedroom and have stepped onto an airplane. We all know it's annoying when someone at the library or in class is blasting loud music from their headphones or speakers. That's annoying as it is, but how about this happening for hours on an airplane? That's right, many people have witnessed people blasting music out of headphones which don't really block the sound. This is super rude and annoying for everybody else on board, but there's a tip that can help you never do this. What Modern cell phones now show the volume bar as red when your music gets too loud, and this isn't just out of the respect for those around you but also for your own health. This is because the red volume bar means the music is too loud for your ears. So turn that music down and make the flying experience better for you and everybody else. Next up is sleep times. When flying on a long flight, it can be tempting to doze off. This is fine, but it's important when you choose to sleep. Make sure you sleep at a time that will make sense for the new time zone you're going into. Otherwise, you could wake up feeling refreshed at 2am when you should be tired then. This can also lead to extreme jet lag and cause you to get out of the loop with the time zone you're in. The best thing to do is to set your watch to your new time zone as soon as you get on the airplane. That way you can make the adjustment as soon as possible. You should also not sleep during takeoff or landing. This is because during takeoff and landing, the pressure around you changes faster than the air inside your ears. And if you've ever flown before, you know this can be very uncomfortable. So to stop this happening, don't sleep during the plane's ascent or descent. And as a little life hack, if your ears get all pressurized even when you're not sleeping, chew gum or a candy to equalize the air pressure. Next up is eating food off tray tables. We all fly at many different times, and because of this, many people eat breakfast, lunch, or dinner on board their flights. It may seem natural to eat food off the airplane tray tables. That's what they're for, right? Well, yes, but any flight attendant would cringe if they saw you doing this. That is because they know the plane's tray tables are often not cleaned thoroughly. In a Today Show study, they found the highest levels of harmful bacteria on tray tables. That's right, it would be cleaner to eat off a toilet seat than an airplane tray table. And in some cases, flight attendants have caught moms using the trays to change their baby's diapers. Yeah, maybe I'll just put that sandwich on my lap rather than on my tray table next time. Excuse me while I throw up real quick. Next up is arguing. Some people can get pretty rowdy when they fly either with fellow passengers or a flight attendant. It seems a new viral video of an airplane freakout emerges every week. These can be arguments among passengers, or in some cases, the plane is overbooked and a flight attendant has to kick a passenger off. The arguments often begin with a lot of shouting, but can turn physical. This goes without saying, but you should never put you or anyone else you're flying with in danger. Thankfully, these are somewhat rare. In fact, the cash me outside girl is actually banned from an airline for this reason. Looks like somebody really did cash her outside. And other people who do this usually get kicked off the flight and sometimes even arrested. So sit back, relax, and watch some top 10s videos instead of arguing on a flight. Check out the poll in the top right corner and you can vote for the most surprising thing you should never do on an airplane. I think it's drinking the water because that is really nasty and I'm going to make sure I buy a bottle next time I fly. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.